Hey guys, doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Fristo H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Now, I told you guys I was going to be designing a Fusion Silver and Fusion Black blackout cloth. Here it is. One side is a Fusion Black, the other side is a Fusion Silver. But also, too, I told you I'm going to be working on a weatherproof version of it, which means you can take it outside. It'll be an outdoor projection screen you can use in your backyard, in your patio, wherever you want to put it at. Uh, we saw the demonstrations on the black screens outside. They look freaking insane uh, because they can reject a ton of ambient light and still maintain a, a beautiful picture. As I said before, the black paint, actually not black paint, sorry, the black fusion, because it's, it's, it's a chemical, but the chemical has to be fused with a machine uh, onto the surface, and you wouldn't believe how many surfaces is we jacked up before we actually got one that actually worked with the machine and the chemical at the same time but anyway uh, the fusion has to be used uh, the black fusion has to be used with a projector of 3,000 lumens and the silver can be used with a projector as low as 200 lumens now I'm going to come over here to my kitchen because I cut a piece of the silver off yes, this is my fridge I cut a piece of the silver off and I've had it sitting in the freezer overnight so it's been sitting here it's pretty stiff as you can see look at this this is this is stiff, like it's frozen stiff. Okay, so I had it in the freezer for some time, and I'm gonna take it, bring it over here to my sink. I'm going to drop it, throw some water on it. I've done this with the Crystal Witch technology screen paint, so I've done the same thing with this. I've done this on the Fusion. Okay, it's a special coating that we designed that goes over the screen and it protects the screen from taking on any damage. But also too, it has to be to still produce a perfect picture. You don't want something that has a bit of a, um, a gloss to it because what'll happen is it'll cause tremendous hot spotting. I mean, it may look good on your projector, but on somebody else's projector, you know, if you're using DLP or LCD or if you're using um, a, a, a LED, it may, it may trigger a reaction off that may cause the screen to hot spot and then you'll have flashes of spots going off all over the screen. So yeah, you have to be real careful about what you use because what'll happen is like I said, it could hot spot and that will look horrible. Especially with DOP projectors, you'll get something called the rainbow effect. So you have to be really careful about using anything that has a gloss to it. That's why when we coat these screens, we have to be really careful about what we use. And also, too, like I said, it's got to work well with the material. So as you see, it's submerged under water right here. So we're going to take it out. And I'm going to, uh, yeah, looks pretty good. No cracking, no peeling. Surface is holding up really good. This is going to be an excellent um, outdoor uh, blackout cloth. All right, let's get that out. And let's come over here to my table. And let's throw it up here. So we're going to tack it. I'm gonna tack it up here. Let me grab my my thumbtacks. Tack it there. Tack it there, just to make sure it holds up. And then my area is a little crowded over here. I got to get this area cleaned out because my wife one's gonna kill me if I don't put her dining room back the way it was. So all this stuff is going down in the basement. All right, so put it against the screen over here. Mind you, it's wet. All right, so there it is against the screen right there. And let's remove the lens from the projector. Remove this from the projector so you guys can see for yourself. So we froze this. This was frozen in the refrigerator. Took it out, dropped it in the sink, submerged it in some water. And there you go. Let me get another tack over in that area right there. I don't think this sack is doing any justice at all. All right, there we go. Looks fantastic. So there is the black right there, and then there is the silver right there. And look at this. Amaya just took that out of my freezer. Okay, so as you can see, the surface is very strong. Let me come over here and grab it over here. Bring it over here to me. You can 
fold this up again and again and again and again and again and again. Let's fold this up real good. Take the tacks out here. Here, here, I'll stick my stuff. And let's fold this up. This is the reason why we can ship this folded up because of there's, there's a there's some I can't explain what it is, but without the coating, there's also something in the in the uh, formula that allows it to be able to uh, be folded up over and over again, and it won't crack or peel. You ball it up. You wouldn't do that to your projection screen, trust me. There we go. Let's see, no cracking, no peeling, nothing whatsoever. Look at this. higher up. There we go. Look at, look at the angle gain. The angle gain is fantastic on these screens. And look at this. Now I washed it. Took my fingers and scraped on it really hard. I freaking uh, crumbled it up. And look at it. Now mind, this is not even stretched out. The material is not even stretched. And I've already balled it up. And look at this. You can see the wrinkles actually removing itself on the screen. Look at this. See the wrinkles on the screen right there? And when I pull this and stretch this over a piece of material, over a frame, you won't even see it. It'll look just like you're seeing this screen right here. Perfectly flat. So this is the weatherproof version of it, which will be a free option. If you want the screen weatherproof, we'll have it at the bottom in the option box that says, hey look, I want this weatherproof or non-weatherproof. You know what I mean? So just to add real quick, uh, with the lights that will be coming with the weatherproof screens, um, they will be a weatherproof, which means you can take the lights outside, you can put them on your patio, your deck, and you can light them up. And you know you don't have to worry about the rain damaging uh, your, um, your your lights out there because they will weather, be weatherproof. So please specify that when you order your blackout cloth that you want the um, you want it weatherproof. We'll have the weatherproof option down there. Also, too, uh, please, when you pick your lights, make sure your lights are weatherproof to match your screen. And the color option for the screen is free. You can have it either in the Fusion Black or Fusion Silver. Uh, we do have worldwide shipping available. Also, too, um, you also too, I forgot to add real quick. Yeah, like I said, the lights. So these are the lights that will be coming with your kit right here. So we have these in weatherproof, and we have these in the uh, indoor lights. And as you can see, I was able to take the screen, submerge it in water, scrape and take my fingers and run it over top of the screen. I was able to ball up the end, twist it, and the screen does not crack or peel. And you can see the Fusion Black and the Fusion Silver side by side. Look at this. Look how beautiful that black screen looks. Okay guys, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology. Game. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching.